Thanks for dropping by, Can't Let Her Die DIY. You caught me just in time to do a little bit of undercoating. We're going after rust today. We got a case of fluid film and a case of Terminator. I'm going to give rust the old one two punch. One Terminator, two fluid film. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Put that down right now. We're going to be doing it on the uh, 2005 Chevy Colorado. It is 17 years old. That's right, folks. 17, 425,000 kilometers. We're looking for a half a million. 75 more thousand kilometers to go. I just came back from picking up my truck, having it undercoated at a professional place, and we're going to see what kind of job they did. I can tell you right now, I'm not all that happy. I guess I'm going to have to do it myself. You know what that's like. First, I'm going to hit it with Terminator. It's a dielectric grease. It creeps really well. It gets right into the crevices and the seams in between the steel, in between the iron, in between the metal pieces. It repels water and it replaces water and water can't get back in because dielectric grease lives there. And then I'm going to hit it with a second punch, which is fluid film. You know about fluid film. It's really good. It's thicker, it has lanolin wax in it. Lanolin wax is a natural wax that's used in uh, sheep produce it for their wool, gives them the uh, water repellency of the, of the wool and that sort of stuff. So it's a natural wax and it sticks, it stays on. So these are the two combinations. I got a case of Terminator, I got a case of fluid film, I'm ready to go. I got the hoses, I'll show you those. I'll show you all how to do it yourself because we're going to one-two punch rust iron oxide. We don't like it. It's relentless. It's constantly trying to eat away at my truck, reduce it to powder, and we're stopping it today. Now, I just got this truck undercoated. Let's see how well they did. Let's take a look. Look in here in the wheel well. Come on in here with me. Now, look. You can see that they sprayed it, they got it on the plastic. They made this plastic real pretty. I don't want it on the plastic. The plastic doesn't rust. This is a rubber splash guard as well, rubber plastic. I don't need it there. And they got it there. Now that's fine. If they're gonna get it everywhere, it's okay. But look, look at the steel. There's none there where it's rusting. I mean, there's a little overspray there. There's none in here. That's bone dry. They did a terrible job. This is not acceptable. I don't like this. This doesn't work for me. Well, maybe they just missed a spot. Let's, let's check out the rear wheel. Driver's side rear wheel. Right here. Got the light placed in there for you. There they did. They did it again. They got my plastic splash guard all nice and lubricated. Right there. Let's go down. They got some on the frame but look look in there I can see down in there inside the frame dry as a bone they did not spray in there those excess points inside the frame same with this one it's dry in there right they didn't even get a lot here this is crud this is from previous uh, undercoating with sand, like dust that gets in there and it causes a nice oil-based coating on it. Look right here. This is very important to get oil in there. That is dry as a bone. They didn't spend time. They just did it. They're just used to doing a very superficial job. Just make it look like they've done something and take their money. So I'm not very happy. I'll be having a talk with them. Okay, this warrants further investigation. I'm not very happy. Let's take a look. Let's see what they actually did. They don't think you're going to go under here because you don't have a hoist. They, they think you'll never be under there. Well, let's see. Ah. 
You don't have to go very far to figure this out. It's terrible. You gotta see this. Come on in. Let me get you here. I'll show you where the action is. Look at this. Can you see that? That is dry as a bone. This is the sill. There's the sill right there. Right? This is... Look. Look at that. A little bit of rust starting to form there. A little bit of rust starting to form. Missing the plug. Missing the plug. Plug is there. Plug is there. They were not removed. They haven't been touched. Look at this. Look at the rust. Starting to form on the inside there. There's the frame. They never touched that. What did they do? Did they do anything? Well, they did it. Well, they did that. Let's get you in here. So you can see the floor has been done there. Uh, behind the uh, drive shaft has been done on the other side of the drive. They did get some on the exhaust system because it was blowing. It was uh, burning off when I drove it home. Uh, right? And look, you don't have to get very far. The other sill, right in there, above it, looks dry. Okay, I've seen enough. We have a verdict. We are rendering a judgment here, right there. Because of that. And that. Where I really need undercoating, I don't have it. And they put it on the plastic uh, splash guards where I don't need it. So this is ridiculous. I'm not happy. And that's why I do things myself. No, no, this is not going to happen. I got my two beautiful assistants with me today. One is Eugene. He's thick like fluid film. And the other one is slight, and that's Hattrick and he's slight like Terminator. They're gonna be helping me through this production. I wanna show you the differences in these two products. We got the Terminator, thin oil, and we got the fluid film, thick oil, with a wax component to it. Let's see the difference here. One's a great creeper, one's a great sticker. You can't have both qualities in one product. Terminator. Thicker. It sticks. Both are clear. Fluid film's got a little yellowy tinge to it. That's the wax that's in there, the lanolin. Terminator 2 is completely clear. One. Two. Rust doesn't stand a chance. Now, does anyone know how to get oil off a window? And you can see that both products are compatible. No rust. Now do you see in here, you see this this frame piece that's holding up the uh, the uh, step rail? Uh, you can see there's a seam in there, metal on metal, right in there and above it. So what I use for this seam is, is we need an oil-based product that creeps really well, which is Terminator so if I spray in there, like that, right, and above it, it will drain in behind. You can see it. It is creeping in behind this piece of metal and this piece of metal. It is getting in there. And that's not going to get washed away. Now, it'll prevent water from getting in there, right, because oil and water don't mix. They don't like each other. And it's really great. And now I will take, so once I do that, I'm going to take Terminator. I'm going to hit all the seams, all the tight spots, all the areas where it is. it needs to creep in there and it'll stay. 
and then I use the thicker uh, fluid film which is also compatible with this and I will coat the whole thing with fluid film so that locks it in there right because this is more of a sticker it's got the lanolin in there the wax component to it it's thick and it sticks it stays it doesn't drip if you're looking for one product that does everything it's not going to do everything really well there's not a lot of splash going up inside there. It's protected from the steel. There's not a lot of snow and stuff going in. I'll use the thinner oil in there and I'll spray it all the way down both sides. And that way I'm getting to this problematic spot. You can see where it's starting to break out on this side. I don't know what it looks like on the inside. And same with these, uh, this plug here. I'll remove this plug and I'll be able to get inside the sill. You got this. You got this. It's a little messy, but getting messy is kind of fun. Okay, we're gonna do in the, the sills underneath the doors. Come take a look. Now this truck has been uh, drilled for undercoating. So they drill it and they put these plastic caps over there to keep moisture from getting in there. So you pull that off and you have access inside this sill. This sill is in great shape. It's because I do this. Now, uh, this product comes with this, uh, this nozzle here for fine tuning. And uh, I got this off of Seafoam. Seafoam has this, the Seafoam spray. You can get this. So this is great for going around turns, around corners. So it's interchangeable here. So I just put that on. And then you can hear it under in there. You can hear it in there, right? And then you can spray up here as well. Spray all the way in the in center of here. And then there's another hole on the other side. So there's the other hole at the other end. So get in there and this really saves your sills. It really does. Stick that on there like that. Get in there and now that nozzle's gone in about here and it will shoot about that far. So that's pretty good. And you get rotate it while you're doing it. And it gets in there. Now this is the creeper specialist, right? So this is going to creep everywhere. It's going to live in there for a long time. You do this every year. And it, it will be very difficult for those cells to rot out from the inside. I'll put more than that in there. But uh, I'm running low on this can. And... Right, and then the cap goes back in. Now on the outside, I'll put the uh, fluid film all down through here and all that on the outside and then underneath as well. You got this. We can do this. We can do a better job than they can. Russ is, isn't going to take us out. Not today. So I got this area of the sill to about right about there, I would say. And I got this one to right about there. So there's a spot in the center that's very difficult to reach with this. So just to be sure now, it'll probably creep in there through the movement of the truck and that sort of stuff, but uh, you can also do this. If you have any of this hanging around, this is a windshield washer line. It's very, has a very small hole on it. And this will fit right over, oh, this dog, right over that, right? And it's pretty tight. That'll go right on that and that'll spray as far as you want it to. It's great. So what I've done, I've kind of pre-done it here for you. This is one of these that I got off the sea foam. I just removed the black part and I stuck this line on it so I have that. So that's what I use to get, if I have to reach a long ways inside a cavity, I go in with this. So we don't buy anything here, we kind of make things up. So here we go. I can put that in this hole. And I can push it down through this sill, and the inside of this sill, where it's very difficult. I can hear it right here. You can hear it scraping. Right? And it gets down in there like that. And now, I can 
red spray inside the very middle, which most people will miss. I can hear it right there. Right? So I'll manipulate that a little bit as I'm drawing it back. Keep spraying it. It's spraying everywhere. Excellent, we got it. after I'm done this is what we're looking at now uh, give you the grand tour there she is inside the frame It is a messy job. <laughs> uh, no one has more fun than me. Okay, the last thing we gotta do is uh, we gotta dust her up. This is the best part. We get to drive, find a dirt road, and just spin her up and apply dust to the bottom of the truck. That kind of locks in the oil, and uh, you know it causes that oily crud layer on the bottom of your truck, that's, which is really hard to wash off, and that's what we want. We don't want salt. And slush and washing that off and Eugene won't let me drive I guess he's driving uh, that's fine you guys hit the notification button give me some comments and check me out in a year's time we'll see how this undercoating really worked out oh you're a good fella you did well you did well you got this you do you really do ah Eugene